Hello, welcome back. Today in, I'm going to be doing matrix multiplication for your matrix assignment. So we have our Donner's matrix for, this is my sample, so you have your own sample. Okay, if you need help constructing your Donner's matrix, please let me know. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the matrix multiplications here. So the command line for this in Excel is called mmult. If you start typing that in, double M, is the only thing that comes up. So click on this. Okay. Now, oops, all right. So, nope, didn't work. Try it again. MM. And you have to click on this little spot here. Okay. So open bracket. So the next step is I need to, it says up there, array one comma array two. Arrays are basically your matrices. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight the matrix I want to multiply first, which is this one. Okay, then I'm going to put a comma in. Then I'm going to highlight the matrix I want to do. I want to multiply with next. I'm doing D squared, so I'm actually multiplying the same matrix twice. So I'm going to highlight second matrix. All right, and then I can just press enter. That should work. Yes, there we go. All right, now some of my numbers are not aligned the way I like, so I'm just going to fix it up as I go. All right, there we go. All right. So what we've got and done is we've done our um, second order matrix. All right. I might just go and I'm going to shift that over to here. Okay. Yes. All right. Except for that row is not aligned correctly. All right. So that is, that is now my, my D squared. You probably want to at least check one of these on your calculator and make sure it's working correctly. All right. But I'm pretty sure that this should be okay. All right. Should know. Let's have a look. E7. No, E7. All right. Uh, 7 to 14. No, L14. Yes. All right. Looks a little bit underwhelming, though. It might just be the sample I picked. Oh, well, if that's the case, that's the case. Oh, no, I, I know what it is. I've turned off my totals. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, in your in the ones I've tested, you've got your, your totals there. Okay. All right. So that's why it looks underwhelming because I haven't done that part yet. Okay. So that's my second order matrix. Now, what you can do is you can also go and do your supremacy matrix here. So I'm going to do my supremacy matrix. So I've actually put a little box here for A. Um, a is the, the little a is the coefficient that's going to go in front of my d squared. So the way I can do that is I'm going to go equals. I'm going to pick my my first d, um, and then I'm going to add 0.5. So click on that. I'm doing it with this little spot here, so I can change that number. It'll update all the values um, that come out afterwards. And then I'm going to click on this corner here. All right and then press enter. Then what you need to do, now if you've got the boys matrix, you have eight columns and eight rows. I think you can just drag this and it'll work. It should do, let's have a look. So that added one. It didn't have that though. Okay, oh, that's why. Um, how do I do that? How do I fix that? Uh, there is a way to do it, so I've forgotten. Okay. Is that star beforehand? No. Okay. The problem is that's not going to work because, all right. So I don't know. I'm going to have to fix that another time. That's not going to work. All right. Okay. There is a way to make it, um, to make constants work on here. Now I've forgotten how to do that. That's a problem. All right. So um, for now, I'm just going to put in 0 0.5 and I'll see if I can, I might update this later on. Okay. So did that work? Okay. Nope. Didn't like the cell. Okay. All right, so we're going to start again. I unfortunately I can't, um, I can't make that work at the moment. So let's just do it. Let's just find a way to make it work. All right, so I click on that one. All right, that cell plus, all right, zero point five plus, sorry, times this cell. Okay. All right. So then I can drag these down. Oopsies. Okay. That's also not working. What's that? Okay. Oh, no, I, I know one. Okay, that's right. Yeah, no, that's actually mental work that way. Okay, that's right. And I go across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay, so now I'm getting, yeah, now you can see the point fives coming into it. That's where that works. All right, then I think I can just go like this and drag these down. I should have the complete matrix. All right, there we go. All right, so if I click on that element, let's just see, yeah, it's highlighting these two and it's doing the correct command. Okay, excellent. So um, if you have to redo this, if because at some point in the assignment, you are changing these numbers. I can't make this auto update right now. I've forgotten the, uh, I've forgotten the method how to do that. I might show that in a future lesson. All right, but there's our supremacy matrix for the second order. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to write some totals. So let's go total. And I'm just going to compare these ones. Okay, so let's do the totals of. So we're going to do command sum. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do it for, I'm going to put them kind of in the same space, but I'm going to do these ones over here. Okay, so now this is all the wins for, I can actually go copy the names as well in a moment. Okay, so do an update. I right, drag on that column. On that corner, there we go. All right, so that's how they rank in the first order. For the sake of it, I'm also going to copy the names so we can uh, we can see that. All right, Jeez. there we go. Copy and all right, paste. There we go. All right, so we can see we've got a, a tie for second place with Angus and Dre, and there's also ties here. There's also ties uh, with Jackson and Tom. All right. So let's have a look what happens in the second order. So I'm going to copy these again. No, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Okay, so let's look at the second order totals. Sum. Actually, no, I can even do it quicker than that. I can just do this. I'm going to take what I just did there. If I copy paste it, it should move. We'll check in a moment. This should work. Yes. Let's have a look. Did it add up these ones? Uh, no, we want, okay, no, that's not going to work. Okay, uh, but what I can do is I can just go and edit that out. It added, added up the second order one, not the supremacy matrix. Okay, so let's highlight those ones. No, not all of them. Just those ones. Thank you. All right, and okay. Then we go click on the corner, update. All right, so how are we going? So is Caleb still winning? Yes. Um, how about second place? Second place is now Angus and Dre in third place. So the ones who got three last time have separated. That's excellent. All right. Have I completely or have I completely sorted it yet? No. Um, oh, these two have sorted. That's excellent. It's just the the la, the second to last and third to last place are not separated in the second order. Will they separate in the third order? Let's find out. Okay. So what we're doing here is all right. Third order now. To do third order, we don't have a cubed method for this. You just have to do make switch mold again. So, um, okay, MMOT. Okay, so the way you're going to have to do this, highlight your D2. Okay, I didn't like that. All right, I know the reason for that. I'll just do that, MM. Alt. Okay. Okay, so highlight the highlight D one, put comma, and highlight the D squared. So D times D squared is D cubed. Okay, yeah. Now there's a little glitch that happens sometimes. I know I don't know what why it does this, but you notice here it has a little. If you can see uh, my my little code there, it has a little um, uh, cross like hashtag. Um, that's a little bug. What I can do is I can just um, go that far. All right, and I need to do one more row. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sneak up here, and I'm going to change that 23 to a 24, and then it works. That's a little, if you ever see that happening, you can't get it to, to do the, the region you want. Just type in the numbers that correspond to the cells, and it works. Okay, so supremacy, I have a feeling that I could basically copy this, and it should work, except for I need to update this. Okay, I need to update. So if I copy this, no, okay. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over here. All right, let's have a look at the cells it's, it's reaching. Yes, it's reaching those two. I'm going to change this to um, 0.333 reoccurring. That will do. These numbers are arbitrary. Um, and then that should work. No, it won't. 
I can, I've realized what I've done. Yeah, you can't just do D, t, D squared and D2. I'm going to have to change that one. Yep, you may. Okay. So let me just change D1. Okay, so go up here, click on that one. Okay, there we go. So now I've got D1. So I've got D plus, actually no, sorry, I missed my point. Okay, Sup supremacy three is supremacy two plus three. There we go, click on that one. So you can see here, it's this one, supremacy two plus one third supremacy three. Sorry, um, D3. Okay, I'll update that cell there. Oops, so I wanted, wanted that. Okay, those are correct now. All right. So I'll explain that again. So to get my supremacy three, I'm taking my supremacy two and just adding on one third of D3. So this will update. Okay, so let's just check. Yeah, I've got supremacy two plus one third of D3. Okay, now we get the right cells, correct. All right. So again, drag it down and do that. And then, okay, now we can, should be able to drag this across. It should work. All right. Press the key, drag that across. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's have, see how the totals work now. I should just be, actually, I should just be able to copy both of these. Let's just copy the whole thing, see if it works. Okay, copy. Because the cells usually update when you move down. Okay, is this doing what I want? Let's just check this. Yes, it's pulling those two. Yes, that's correct. And is this what doing what I want? Yes, it's adding those up. All right, so let's look at our rankings now. Caleb's still first place. Angus still second place. Dre is still third place. All right. Yes, they're all fully separated now. You can see fourth place, fifth place, sixth place, seventh place, and James didn't score a win, so he was always going to be on the bottom, I'm afraid. Okay, so at order three, I was able to fully rank these, um, and there was no problem. So I don't actually have to go to order four. You can include it. Just make sure that they don't fall out of place. What can happen is these numbers can get kind of big. They're not for mine. I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm a getting it large, largest numbers I'm seeing here is three. Um, but sometimes they can. Okay. So that's how you're able to rank the teams of supremacy matrices. Depending on your data source, you may find that yours are not fully ranked by order three. And you might find they're not even fully ranked by order four. That's fine. So long as they do something in order to, um, and they're, they're improving, then you can write comments about them. So some people will have data that will fully rank. Some people will have data that will not fully rank. Regardless, everyone's data will do something, at least at the second order, and that's enough to write about. If it was too easy or too hard to rank the teams, um, that's when the problems arise. So I think that should be fine. So we're going to leave it here for this video. Okay.